thought I'd do a little bit of a different video today. Kind of a car chat video and maybe a shop with me. Um, it's my shopping day. It's thir Thursday, what is today? November 2nd. It's a very rainy, gloomy, yucky, yucky day. It's like, of course it's going to be raining all day long when I have to go grocery shopping <laughs> in and out of the stores. I just love it. But I did remember my umbrella, so that's a good thing. I'm not going to be able to do a grocery haul for this um, video or for this shopping trip. Um, our Aldi is still not open, so when I get home, I'm going to have to get all my groceries put away, and then when Scott gets home from work, we're going to run over to the other Aldi that's quite a bit farther away. And um, the last grocery haul I did, that's what we did, and it just was very um, stressful for me, um, trying to get all the groceries hauled, you know, videoed, and then put away, and try to get supper eaten at a decent time, and it was, it was just too stressful. So, I'm not going to be hauling today, but um, maybe I'll show you, if I feel comfortable taking the camera in the store, I will uh, have you shop with me a little bit today, and kind of show you some of the things that I put in my cart, so you kind of get an idea of some of the things I bought. I mean, typically I buy the same things over and over again, so you're not really going to be missing out on anything fabulous <laughs> if I don't haul this shopping trip. But, you know, if I do put something fun and exciting in my cart, I'll show you what I picked up. Um, Olivia's not with me today. I told her that until Christmas is over, she can't go shopping with me anymore because I like to pick up stocking stuffers little by little and I can't do that if she's with me. Most of their Christmas gifts this year I'm ordering online. I'm doing a lot of online shopping. Um, it's just easier because they're older now and I have no clue what they want. Um, especially Travis. I can pretty much get what Olivia wants, you know. She, she has so many interests and likes so many things that she's really easy to shop for. But um, Travis is hard to shop for. So I just told the kids, I said, find what you want online, preferably Amazon, and send me the link to what you want. And uh, I'm not going to guarantee that you'll get everything that you send me links for, but at least I'll have an idea of what they want. I like to use Amazon because um, just recently, within the last few months, I signed up for the Amazon Prime. Originally, so they give you a 30-day free trial thing, and then after that, you pay $10 a month. And I was originally just going to use the uh, free the free time and the reason why I signed up for it is because there was something I needed that I couldn't find in the stores and I needed it with right away and with the Amazon Prime they uh, guarantee like two days within two days you'll get what you ordered and it's been that way for everything I've ordered from Amazon since I signed up for Amazon Prime I order it and two days later it's in my hand so so I did that, I signed up for it, I was just going to cancel it after the free initial 30 days, but I really like Amazon Prime, I really do. Everything is free shipping, you can order one item and it can be a $2 item and you get free shipping on it, as long as it's part of the Amazon Prime. There are a few items that are not part of Amazon Prime that you would have to pay shipping for. but. Just about everything is free shipping and guaranteed within two days. So at least until after the holidays are over, I'm going to continue um, keeping my Amazon Prime 
open and going. It's well worth the ten dollars a month, uh, especially this time of year when I'm buying a lot off of uh, off of um, the internet, off of Amazon. So, so there's so that's that. Um, Scott is hard to buy for, but it's kind of basically the same same deal. He sends me links to things he wants, and <laughs> it's usually not a surprise what he gets because it's basically what he puts on his list. And then last year, I bought a couple of things for myself. I was just in the store and I thought, oh, that is so cute, and I'd really like that for Christmas. But if I wait till Travis or till Scott goes shopping, because he usually goes like the week before Christmas, um, it'll be gone. So I just I just picked the stuff up and then I gave it to him and said, here, this is for me for Christmas. Well, he's like, hey, I like this. I like this you shopping for yourself. <laughs> so I've been kind of doing some of that for myself too. I've been shopping for myself a little bit. Um, he said he will buy me a few things. That'll be a surprise, but. All right, I'm at the post office. I need to run in and uh, mail a package, and so I'll be back. Okay, so the package is mailed. And now we are off to Walmart. I'll probably just video in Walmart if I video um, shopping. There's, I get so little at Kroger, there's no point in videoing in there. And I'm just going to Walmart and Kroger, and then I gotta get gas. And then, um, like I said, later when Scott gets home, we'll go to Aldi. up there that tells me how many miles to empty and I'm kind of low on gas but I got 50 miles before I'm empty but it was blinking at me and I'm like why is it blinking at me oh. my gas gauge is going back up a little bit I think it was just confused but anyways so yeah I gotta get gas and uh, groceries at Walmart and I'm going the back route the back roads because I hate the highway absolutely hate it and it's getting worse and worse and worse with semi traffic and um, yeah so I take the back way it takes a few more minutes but I'd rather do that than fight the traffic. <laughs> so, what else was I going to tell you? Oh, there was one other thing. Um, I went to the chiropractor yesterday, which I haven't done that in 30 years, probably. But, uh, on and off for the last several months, I've been having this pain in my neck down into my back, into my trapezius muscle, and then across into my shoulder, and I would have Travis rub it, because he has the he has a lot of strength in his hands, and so he could really get in there and work the knots out, and after he, you know, give me a good massage on that shoulder and neck, I would feel better for a while, but then about once a month I've had this where it would flare up again and uh, this last time it's just been really miserable and Scott's not a fan of chiropractors he's had a bad experience with them and so he was really um, hesitant for me to go but I told him I said I've got to do something and I'm not going to the doctor because I already been there done that with the doctor it's like they want to just give you pills and I don't want to take pills and then they'll refer you to a specialist and you have to get all these tests and x-rays and 
MRIs and all this junk done, and I, I'm still paying for my knee that I had done, you know, months ago. I had the MRI and stuff for my knee. I'm still paying that off, and I'm like, I, I'm not doing it. Um, I don't know if our insurance will pay for the chiropractor, but it is a whole lot cheaper, I'm telling you. Um, the initial visit, they did take an x-ray. He did a, like a preliminary visit, and then he did, a, did an adjustment on me, and it was $130, which I thought, oh man, great. I don't really have it right now, but then after that, any, any business I have to go to after that, it's only $30. So I'm like, yeah, in the long run, I'll save money because it'll cost me that much and more to go the doctor route. And so I went, and went, I went to the chiropractor and they were able to get me in right away. And they took an x-ray and all of this. And basically, the pain that's up in my upper back and in my neck and my shoulders stems from the herniated disc that I have in my lower back that I got. It's been almost 25 years ago now that I herniated the disc in my lower back. And, um, woo, my hand, that was a huge mud puddle. He said that by now, everything down in my lower back is calcified and and there's nothing, you know, nothing that can be really done about my lower back. And I've gotten used to the pain down there. Um, it's, it hurts all the time, but I can tolerate it and I'm used to it. And, you know, after all these years, you kind of get used to stuff like that. But because my body is wanting to protect that L5 disc area, which is very low in my back, um, for all these years, I've been kind of standing funny, holding my posture funny, not even realizing it, and it's caused a slight curvature in my spine, um, kind of low, low to mid back. It kind of curves out in an S, and then it goes straight again, and it's just throwing everything off. And so, when I saw that on the x-ray, my spine, it, it looks like an S down in my lower back. And I'm like, that's kind of freaking me out a little bit, I told the doctor. But he's like, you know, I've, he said, I've seen worse. So, you know, he didn't seem at all concerned about it. But his goal is to get everything loosened up in my upper back and then do things to strengthen across my shoulders so that I can get my posture back, you know, the way it's supposed to be. Um, I'm basically hunching forward with my shoulders, and so that's causing a lot of stress and strain on my trapezius muscle, and it'll only stretch for so far, and then, it, then it'll knot up. It'll, you know, have spasms and knot up, and that's what's happening is I'm having muscle spasms and things back there. So he did an adjustment, cracked my back. It felt really good, <laughs> to be quite honest. It really felt good. And um, gave me some home exercises I'm supposed to do. And then I go back next week for a follow-up. He just wants to make sure that I'm doing the exercises properly. And he'll probably do another adjustment. <clears throat> But he, he promises me he's not one of those chiropractors that has you come back and come back and come back and come back. Because if I were to come back every week for six months, that $30 a week would add up quick. So he, he promises that he's not going to do that. He just wants me to get to where I'm feeling better and uh, get those vertebrae loosened up and keep them loosened up. So. All right, this video has, I've rambled on enough, so I'm going to go ahead and get off of here, and I'll pick you back up when we get to the store. This is my favorite section in the store at Christmas time. The ornaments. I've got so many ornaments, though, I don't really need any more. But I am doing a small tree, 
in my new room downstairs that I just got done decorating. So I'm going to see if I can fit, pick out some of these ornaments for my new little tree. same price as those nine ones. So I think I'm going to get these instead. get this for her. These bows are for um, packages, but they'd be cute on my little tree, especially these. So I think I'm going to get these for my little tree. This 
is more little dinky Pioneer Woman section. We don't have very much Pioneer Woman stuff at all. I think I'm going to wrap this video up here. I'm sitting in the Walmart parking lot and I'm going to eat me one of these and drink some unsweetened tea because I'm starving and it's 1.30. I hope you enjoyed this kind of video, um, kind of a car chat and a shop with me. I didn't shop in the store, didn't video in the store too much and I'll probably have to mute all the sound out and add my own music because I don't want to get a copyright strike and there's the music in the store was very loud today <laughs> so um, I'm gonna wrap this up here and I want to thank you a lot for watching and we will talk to you all later bye friends